Welcome back again, Bash Fam. This is box number three of Zendi Kazi Rising. This box is brought to you by my boy Tyson Christensen, aka Elon Musk's son, XY21344. You know what I'm talking about. Close the door. All right, open the pack. Open it, open it, open it. There we go. Box number two was actually pretty insane. The wrapper's over there, buddy. Uh, open the box. Oh, the juice, the juice, Nita. All right, here we go. So yeah, box number, the heck was I saying? Two is pretty nuts. Open, open. Yo soy Baka Choya. There we go. All right, Monsieur Tyson Christianson. Put this down to the side. Over there. All right. We're going to bust this open for you, Tyson. I know you're really excited. So am I. But yes, box number two was not bad. Let's get right down to the nitty gritty. We started box number two off with a freaking foil mythic right off the get go. Right out of the kitchen's oven, buddy. So, oh, hey, what's up, dude? Dope art, yeah, hey. So yeah, pretty freaking sweet. Definitely with some non-GMO. I'd rate that one, uh, dude, close to a banana pepper. Banana pepper, sorry. Habanero pepper, you sap. All right, here we go. Moving on. Cherix the Raging Isle, okay. So yeah, as we've been seeing, there's a strong theme with landfall combos in this set. Um, I've already seen a couple of broken combos with that swarm guy. So I'm gonna set your packs over here. So yeah, I just think this set's gonna be quite interesting. Also, what do you think about the set boosters with the whole party thing, huh? Think that's gonna last? Think that's gonna hold? People are gonna love it, hate it? What do you think? Let me know in the comment section, as well as what is your favorite art card? I already forgot the name of my favorite, but when we pull it, I will let you know what it is. So yeah. Just getting ready to go out of town this weekend, celebrate uh, the end of work, high ground mauling, and uh, we're gonna be going town. I'm gonna be partying this weekend, so let's just get it, Bash Man. It's gonna be a busy couple of weeks, not with work anymore, but opening packs. Doing what we do best. Opening freaking packs. All right, moving on here. Bada bing, Craig Plate Ballet. Oh, that's a foil, buddy. Okay, so there's your foil rare for the booster box. Sometimes you get two, though. I have seen two. I don't know if I've ever pulled three out of a booster box. Let's pull that back. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Sorry about the little glare. Um, as I said before, I am making a couple of videos tonight, so I'm still in the same spot. And I did move the table a little bit, so it's a little brighter, but the glare's a little slap me more in the face. Silly, you know what I'm saying? No Mythics yet. Squad Commando. Okay, moving on. Oh, that's pretty cool art. That's like, that kind of reminds me of some old timey art, you know. Like Venge, Vengevine, not Vengevine, Vengeful Thorn or something like that. God, I can't even think of it right now. Tyson, come on, you need to get something juicy here. You're not doing too hot right now, buddy. Come on, baby. Come on, Magmatic Channel. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right. Now, that was kind of a bust of a pack. So been talking about collectors, set boosters. Uh, what about Command Legends? What about that? You guys as, as excited as that, uh, for that as I am? I think I'm more excited, to be honest, for that. Uh, not to say I'm not knock, knocking. Dude, I can't talk right now. Not to say I'm knocking Zendikar Rising, but dude, I'm just a strong, straight up bandwagon commander player. You know what I'm saying? I'm a huge fan. It's so different. Like, I never played Commander until this year. Really, at all. It's so different compared to just playing Standard 
all the time. Draft is fun, don't get me wrong. Standard is what I just used. I just used only played Standard for so long. And then I started playing Commander. I'm like, there is so much to do with this. There's so much going on. Games can change just like that. There's, you've got four players added in and 40 life total. Like, it's just absolutely insane. It's, I've had literally like a six hour commander game and you just literally have to go get coffee, make yourself something to drink, to stay awake. And then it gets to a point where somebody's got like 20 creatures out, they're adding all their counters and it's just like, dude, I concede. Like, oh, no, 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 let me, uh, let me finish my turn here. I'm like, no. So yeah, that's why I'm excited for Command Legends. You know what I'm talking about? Anyways, Tyson, you still have yet to pull a Mystic, Mystic, Master of Winds. You still have yet to pull a Mythic, and uh, it's kind of bothering me right now. So I need to see something soon. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, saying? So yeah, all right, here we go. Here we go. All right. Cracking them Paxies. Oh, Skyclave Shade. That is dope. That's not my favorite art in this set. I will show you when I find it. But that is pretty freaking sweet. It's got some of the same colors going on that I like. Oh, baby. What does this even do? Skyclave can't be blocked. Or can't block. Okay, what up? Extra doped up version of Bloodgast. If Skyclave Shade was kicked, it enters the battlefield with two plus one plus ones on it. Whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, Shade is in your graveyard. And it's your turn. You may cast it. Okay, Bloodgast. What's up? What the flip? Huh interesting makes sense makes sense except for it's got that kicker on it that's pretty cool except the kick is three stop it oh angel of destiny that's a dope card i like that card bada bing bada boom that in full art foil is one that i want to get congratulations on your first first mythic your first mythic tyson why can't dude i hate these sideboard things i'm gonna try to open it normally next pack and lenvala shield of seagate okay what up thassa's little brother um anyways so yeah this set's pretty sweet been seeing some decks uh being built already like and some play of the decks um it's pretty interesting to say the least I will be doing a, we're doing a draft tournament next week. And I think we're doing like a $10 buy-in. We're gambling, kids. We're gambling. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's illegal to gamble. Apparently, you can't play poker in your basement with your friends. Having a couple of hazy, hazy water IPAs. And apparently, that's illegal. So, don't report me. No, we're not. We're not gambling. Wink, wink. Relic robber. Somebody's getting robbed next week at that tournament. You know what I'm saying? Jesse James style coming in with all the freaking jewels. Here we go. See, so yeah, I kind of put that uh, six hundred and fifty dollars in my pass. I'm over it, Bashram. I'm over it. Oh yeah, clear water pathway. I've cleared my path. I've cleared my mind, and. It's like water right now. It just flows evenly. And Merc Water Pathway was in my past. And she gone. I'm not even worried about it, man. I'm not going to dwell on it. It is just money. Sure, it was a decent amount of money. But I'm not going to dwell on it anymore. The dude's not calling me back. I tried everything I could to get my money back through PayPal. They said, basically, you slapped yourself. That's pretty cool. Um, you hose yourself big time, buddy. You use friends and family. And even though you've got valid evidence that this guy screwed you over, you ain't getting your money back, boy. Sorry. Yeah, no. I also did some information. Information. I also researched some information that uh, even if I were to bring him to small claims court, and if I won, oh, Mucinex commercial. Um, oh, man. Look at them. You know what I'm saying? Okay, moving on, you freaking weirdo. Even if I won in small claims court, chances are the guy's not even going to be able to pay me. He's on probation. He'd probably go back to jail. His credit would be ruined forever. 
And that would be it. And I could say, ha ha, I told you so. But I'm out my time, my family time, and just I don't get my money back. So what's the freaking point? Do I do it as an example to just say, hey, Nighthawk Scavenger, this is a message to all scammers. This can happen to you. Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Dude, this art is freaking dope, bro. Jeez Louise. Who got a bonus at Wizards, bro? Are you... Whoa, was that some OG? Is that the OG? Anyways, who got the freaking bonus at Wizards? Because y'all stepping it... Oh, I get it. Yeah, we're buying a crap ton of collector poster boxes. And you're making a crap ton of money. Therefore, you can invest in some highly, highly trained artists. I get it now. I get it. Yeah. We all spend so much money. They're like, you know what? We're going to step it up a notch. Like, golly, this is just like straight out of World of Warcraft. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, actually, World of Warcraft. Hey, what's going on? Oblivion's hunger. I'm hungry. Dude, you are such a freaking weirdo. Stop it. Anyways, um, keep it moving, buddy. I honestly have no... Oh, yeah. Ben, Bruce, am I going to set an example for uh, Bruce Pompilli who scammed me? I don't know. I don't think so. To be honest with you, it's just not... Well, we're Legion Angel. Nice. Not worth... Dude, we got one Mythic. One. Yeah. This ain't good, Tyson. This ain't good. You gotta just turn Super Saiyan 3 right now. And let's go. Let's go. Yeah, you need to step it up, buddy. You need to step it up big time. Show them what you're made of. Jackie Robinson coming in with the swing. Satchel Paige throwing the pitch. We're going to get a home run. Adventure awaits. If I'm correct, uh, what was it? Jackie Robinson was the first person to hit a home run against Satchel Paige. And they were the first two. Jackie Robinson first and Satchel Paige. Black baseball players. It was actually a really cool study that I did. A really cool project I did back in the day. Uh, I thought that was interesting. So, I don't know. Uh, a little history for you, folks. A little baseball history for you. Satchel Page, phenomenal pitcher. Anyways, moving on. Let's talk about magic. So, yes, uh, as far as, like, deck concepts, has anyone broken anything themselves? Have you guys built any decks yet? Have you played it on MTG Arena? Have you gotten with your friends? Can you stop? Oh, I thought that was my favorite car, but it's not. It's my candy ox. <sighs> Let me know. Like, I want to know what you guys are building as far as your decks go. Like, I want to know. Talk to me. Oh, yeah. Seagate Restoration, dude. Draw cards equal to the number of cards in your hand plus one. You have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. Oh, but wait, there's more. As Seagate Reborn enters the battlefield, you may pay three life if you don't and enters the battlefield tap. Um, okay. Interesting. Dope art on that. Needless to say. Golly, I just can't get over so so good dude like maybe i'm just over exaggerating but I, you know what maybe i'm not i'm not i'm not this is freaking dope uh i haven't pulled a full art jace yet i would like to see an omnath oh come on zareth the sun chuckster oh yeah tyson dude it's been a minute buddy how's it going elon son I want to see something here. You got two two mythics now. Yeah. What was the last one you got in on you? Oh wow, it was Double Masters opening day, wasn't it? You got a booster box of Double Masters, uh, Scat Shatter Skull Charger, and I believe I pulled you a Mana Crypt in that Mana Crypto. Which reminds me, guys, invest in cryptocurrency now. Invest in it. I'm telling you. It's at a tipping point, and it's going to shoot up, bro. It is. There's no way around it. There's no denying the undeniable. It is going to shoot up. Yasharn, implacable, implacable earth, whatever you want to say. Um, there's no denying it, man. Cryptocurrency is the future of money. Dude, they've got, like, are you kidding me? There's so much futuristic crap going on right now. You don't think they can just be like, yeah. We're going to kind of just, like, get rid of the dollar. You ever studied the New World Order? Like, come on. One world currency? It's going to be something that's universal. 
something you can transfer to the other side of the world like that. You ain't doing it with a wire transfer. No. You're doing it with cryptocurrency. Confounding conundrum. We're all in one. Buy crypto. Let me talk to you about one in particular. XRP. Ripple. Dude, this is a coin where you can buy a mortgage in China. You can pay your mortgage in China or take out a loan with Ripple in China to buy houses. Dude, uh, what? Are you freaking kidding me? It's at like 23 cents right now. I bought into this thing when it was at 17 cents. What happened to magic, bro? What happened to magic? Oh, yeah, I started talking about mana crypt and then I said crypto. Anyways, I'm going to cut it short. Buy Ripple. Buy XRP. Done deal. Grakma Skyclave Ravager. In Shalandi Vision, I have a vision that we're going to be rich off crypto. Seriously, though, uh, last time I'm going to say it, y'all need to start investing in cryptocurrencies. Some people think it's a freaking joke. That's fine. Some people may think I'm insane. That's okay. Um, I'll be opening 100 collector booster boxes for myself five years from now. So, anyways, you can be laughing at me then. Anyways, moving on. Tyson, we're nearing the end of your journey here. Oh! Landfall. Whenever land it is a bad ability under control, you gain four life. This is the first time this ability has resolved this turn. If it's the second time, add four mana. If it's the third, third. If it's the third time, I'm that this fall damage to each opponent and each planeswalker you don't control. Yeah, Juice Factory. That's the one you wanted to get, Tyson. Bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, bing. That right now on TCG Full Art Foils, like 112 bucks. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Tabarax, Hope to Mars. So, Scourge is also a really sought-after mythic. We have yet to pull it, and then this is the third booster box. Eh. <gasps> there he is! Prowling Felida! There's my favorite card! There's my favorite card! Yeah. That's just so beautiful. Tyson, you got four packs left, buddy. You got four freaking packs left. Let's get some freaking ghost pepper. So that's ghost pepper. Nope. It's gosh, I ruined it. Yeah, no, that wasn't good. Oh, I'm not going to read all that. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Not happening. All right, Tyson. Three packs left. Lucky three. This has got the mythic in it. You got another you got another mythic in there. What do you got? One, two, three. You need four. Four is average. If you don't get four, you're below average. Just like my AC team. Just kidding. I'm not. I'm not kidding about that at all. Anyways, Tejuro Paragon. Yeah, no. Not a chain. Look at that. Spitfire La Jacques. La Jacques. Le Chaim. <laughs> I'm so. I need some friends. I need friends, guys. Actually, a member of the Bash Fam is coming over tomorrow. Uh, I haven't played Magic with him yet, but he's coming up from downtown. Or downtown. Down, down south of the cities. South of the. <laughs> what? Oh! Foil, full art, pathway. Okay, there's one. And then Forsaken Monument. Colorless creatures you get. Yep, yeah, I've already read this one. But dude, what a freaking pack, Tyson. That's a way to go, bro. I've guessed it wrong twice for the last three now. As far as where the mythic is going to be. Uh, it wasn't in that one. It was in that one. Oh, no, 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 no. Those are your rares. Those are your rares, buddy. One, two. Oh, yeah. Here we go. There we go. These go over here. You sap! You freaking sap! Alright. So, you got in your fourth mythic. You're at, sitting at an average box. But you also got a full art foil showcase pathway. Oh, baby. Felidar Retreat. Dude, these Felidars got me tripping, bro. I want all of them. I want a whole freaking page. A book. Full of foil felidars, okay? Send me your felidars, dude. I want them. Please. They're so beautiful. Oh, my God. All right. Anyways, let's get down to the nitty gritty. The juice factory. All right. We're going to open this. All right. Zenikar rising. We know the drill. This is, this is the side you want to open on so we don't see the card. Oh, my God. Maybe. Oh, yeah. There we go. 
There we go. Tyson, what are we going to do for you? What's it going to be? Oh, Seachrome Coast. Seachrome Coast enters the battlefield tapped unless you control two or fewer other lands. Doubt, dude. That's pretty freaking sweet. So, um, if you get this, obviously, two or fewer other lands. You know, if you get this in your first freaking, obviously, hand. Yeah, you just got yourself a dual land. So that's pretty freaking sweet. Congratulations, Tyson. Let's just throw that around like it's a piece of garbage. Come on, Paul. Respect the freaking cards. Tyson, congratulations. Thank you so much again for sponsoring in this box. If you guys haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. Join us on Facebook group at Blissful Bash MTG. And uh, get in on this action. Get in on the spice. It's a pretty fun community of people. We got a lot of friendly people. There's always buying, selling, trading going on. There's also other groups of MTG uh, streamers, YouTubers, etc. They post some of their stuff on my channel as well. And um, let's see. Oh, yeah, Patreon. If you'd like to save a ton of money on booster box breaks, like 25% or is that that's the highest tier. So 60 bucks a month gets you 25% off booster box breaks. 25% off a booster box that you can get per month. Uh, shipping discounts of up to $16. Also, packs opened for you on the channel of $30 worth of packs. And I believe the total amount you can save for the month is like $150. But also, as I said prior, a couple weeks ago, maybe it was a week ago, I don't know, I'm losing my mind. I am spicing up the Patreon at the first week of October. So if you want to get grandfathered into that, you better join now because you're going to get a lot of perks that are already with the current Patreons. Plus, those Patreons are going to get added perks. But for new Patreons come October, they're going to get the set perks for that month. Anyways, peace out, Bastion. Thanks again, Tyson. Stay tuned.